Okay. Now we've got the uh, hilt loaded in the vise here, and uh, we're all set. We got our number 29 bit. I've got this measured out uh, so that uh, this screw hole is going to miss the threads. And yeah, I did actually take the measure. I measured it twice this time. It's very easy. You just uh, set that in there until it bottomed out on the threads, and then, like so, and you transfer it. So we're going to miss it by quite a bit. And it should still be out of the way for uh, handling the hilt. So we're going to head and get this started up here. Okay, now, as I mentioned in one of the other videos, I usually would deburr that hole using the uh, uh, cylinder hone on the drill, but for this, because uh, the hones are kind of worn out on that, I haven't replaced them in a while, I'm just going to go ahead and use the Dremel. And smooth. When you get done doing something like this, you also want to make sure you clean your threads. So, before we do anything like that, we're going to now need, need to uh, add the threads. When I'm cutting the threads, I usually like to spray the uh, tap down a little bit with some liquid wrench just to act as a uh, cutting fluid for the threads. I just want to do this by hand. Just get it started. Push it in a little bit as you turn it. And once it starts to bite and cut the threads, it'll pretty much just thread itself right in there. Back it out. You don't want to force it if you start to feel any kind of resistance on it. And here you see, we're going all the way through. So if you start to get too much resistance, the chips will build up in there and then you can snap your tap off. Uh, they are not super strong, they're hardened, but that also means that they're, they can be brittle. Now, uh, we've got created another burr, so we're going to do that. back through there again just to clean the threads out. Alright, so now I'm going to go back over to the, this bench. bench. Here's our 564 sailing wrench. on a belt with the uh, cover tech belt clip and our hole still lines up for the switch so just about done with machine work on this uh, there is one other thing I want to do uh, as you can see this already has one hole in it I'm going to be drilling a few more along the bottom there and along the sides right under here what that will do is uh, that will help the uh, soundboard to um, 
have a decent volume with the the way the uh, the speakers work in these things. So it will turn the whole hilt into a uh, resonant chamber and allow some of the sound to escape from the grip section too. That way you don't always have all your sound coming directly from the pommel. So we'll uh, get started on that in uh, the next video.